Good morning and welcome to, you got better turn off your phone. Welcome to the <laughs> Friday show. We got Jenna's phone is dinging already. Let us know that you are there and where are you watching from? And of course, Jenna is already asking for hearts. Hearts. You as many as possible. She has one. You have one. I have one. Oh, two. Oh, two. Oh, two. Oh, two. More. Here we go. There, oh, yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah. Oh, Sean, that a boy. Right there, Team Janan, he's first all. Well, lately you have not been. Where have you been, Sean? Where have you been? Good morning, Tina. Tina, good morning. Good morning. I have a special guest this yes. morning. My little sister, Carla, I wanted to introduce to you all. Oh, wait, Sean gave you a Team Janan, too. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So we do need some hashtag Team Carla's, who has joined our 40 Kennel team. Oh, no. We had a little, okay, we have, we have an applause. Okay, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I forgot. I have, well, I got the sound effect already. Okay, I'd like to welcome hashtag, hashtag Team Carla to the 40 Kennel. <laughs> and we have the, woohoo, I won. Thank you, Heather. Thank oh, you. There we go. Birthday. Too, Carla. Look at all your two birthday. birthday. This is not your birthday. All right. Um, two dogs now get too busy, right, Sean? I know. It's a whole different level having two dogs. When you go from I'm one three. to two dogs. Yeah. Jenna's, yeah. Raising Team Carla. There we go. Woohoo! Carla is um, my little sister. 10 years, 10, 11 years younger. Used to pack her on my hip. Um, <laughs> Right, Carla? <laughs> oh, I know. Boy. No, this is oh, not good. This is stories. not good. No. Nope. Here come the <laughs> stories. Carla has recently, though, um, and I'll let her share some of this journey with you, <clears throat> left her very um, reliable, consistent, safe corporate job um, with MGM. Am I allowed to say that? I can say that, right? Yeah. There's no like privacy clause or anything yeah. with MGM <laughs> corporate security uh, moved her way up at MGM and worked up in the corporate if I'm saying anything wrong you can correct me why don't you tell no, you're good you, you tell uh, yeah so I worked through it was 12 <laughs> years of MGM uh, worked oh, my way up yeah uh, and my sister finally brought me over to the dark side uh, to say it nicely I guess <laughs> A lot of dog poop. Of dog we we poop. gotta bring That's up the poop. Yeah, it's right. gotta go it's back to that. Great. Every <laughs> single show, you're just helping me out here, bringing it up. Um, yeah. So left, and and she dealt with a lot of the same. It took a while. It took a while. We started talking about her coming and working for me, like a year. It's been a year in the yeah. works. Like really thinking about it. It's been a scary thing to leave. Um, like I said, uh, health insurance and reliable paychecks <laughs> well now you're dealing with mother nature and all of the and being on call 24 7 that's been a little bit of an adjustment for you right yeah a little bit a little bit so carla lives on property she not only left her corporate job but moved from las vegas to Perum. Did what i did um left behind las vegas and that's been a transition just a little bit. <laughs> just, just, just a little bit. Left a beautiful city of Las Vegas where you have everything at your fingertips and you come to a really kind of a farming community, farm town. Yeah. Right? Like that. Um, we don't have a movie theater. We we do have we do have Walmart, Home Depot, Albertson Smith's Yeah, that's um, it. Some no, I, tractor <laughs> supply. That was huge. Yes, that, that was, was huge. Jenna's favorite. Fast food, of course. Some restaurants we really, really do lack in some good old restaurants. Like there's no chain restaurants, well, except for Denny's. But I will not eat at Denny's. I'm sorry, Denny's. I will not eat your food. But there's no Olive Garden or Applebee's or Carabas, one of my favorite. Um, nothing like that. We definitely have some owner, small town uh, business owners, which we love to support. So we love to eat at those restaurants. But you know, Prump is a different town. We're like 60 miles, 63 miles from McCarran Airport um, and living on five acres. What's been the best part so far? The quietness and the stars. <laughs> right. The five acres and the stars. Yeah. Yeah. And hanging out with family too, seeing the kids. Yeah, and that was that was part of your, that whole big pro cons list for a year hashing it out was um, being more involved with your nephews and niece and, and 
seeing him every day now. Yeah. yeah. It's been a great it's change. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> but she's Who's like, ready to get rid of me? <laughs> yeah. She also gets to struggle with, and we've talked a lot about making that transition um, as as a boss to the kids at work, but then being the aunt off of work, something I've not always done so well. You know, my kids have been like, you can't be our mom at work. And I'm like, what does that mean? I'm always your mom. And they're like, well, the way you talk to us and, you know, you'll scold us in front of other staff. And it's like, oh, man, I do. Like, I talk to them just like they're, <laughs> cause they're, just like they're my kids. And that's always something I, I I continually have to work on and I come home from work often I'm like I'm sorry because I'll totally talk to Jenna like my daughter at work and uh she's like mom like you embarrass me if I just <laughs> like whether I'm scolding or just being a mom right is that the best way to describe it yep yeah, more hearts. Do you have any more hearts? hearts. It's what hearts. hearts. You have 41. Check That's not hearts. even close. 41. 41, 41 hearts. hearts. We got some laughs. That's a good one. No? Yeah, right. Little, little laughing faces. Little, yeah. little thumbs up, guys. Do a... <laughs> the quarter of <laughs> our new year. favorite sound effect. Ooh. Yeah. Hand clapping. All right. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Got it. Yeah. So, how long have you been working here now? I don't know because I lose all track of time. Do three know? months? Three months? Three yeah. months? Three months. So in three months, Ready? you have experienced a lot of firsts. <clears throat> She's had, uh, right away, She we had a puppy die after 24 hours after birth. Yeah, that was a tough one. Um, yeah. That's a tough thing to deal with. Mother nature is not uh, the easiest thing to deal with. And that was, that was a little bit of a struggle. That was something that... Uh, you really had to help me out with and, and kind of let me know this is something of the business. And uh, yeah, it was a tough, tough go. Yeah, because, uh, you know, he, it, he didn't just die suddenly. You know, we knew he was dying and there's nothing you can do. And there was a lot of that conversation with Carla. With, uh, there's nothing else we can do. In fact, the, the best thing we can do is euthanize and, and suffering. <clears throat> and so Carla had to really grapple with that, struggle with that. Well, why? Why, why isn't there anything we can do? And, and with neonates, there's just not. Um, and he he asper he clearly had aspirated after birth, and it settled in his lungs and ammonia. And <clears throat> to bring a puppy, it, he was too far gone already. Um, and so that was tough. And that was very quickly and, and lot, lots of tears and um, welcome to 4 He's just pushing me out. I Gosh. <laughs> yes, I did cry. Yeah, it was, did cry. yeah. yeah. that's tough. Um, and then on the flip side, though, then, then you went right into we had uh, a litter that were really declined quickly with severe diarrhea. And if you don't get on top of that quickly... Um, you'll lose them. We were, you learned how to tube feed very quickly. <laughs> like we were, we went into intensive care. These puppies were in intensive care. Um, and here we go. Here's how you sub Q fluids. Here's our protocol. Here's how you tube feed. And you're doing it every four hours. So we were running shifts every four hours, meeting at 2 a.m. in the nursery, tubing, um, and all nine survived. And in fact, her favorite. We should have brought her up here. We should have. <laughs> we ju- it, you got to go on our Facebook and look her on our Instagram. We just announced yesterday, little yellow collar female. A little Kai, right. yeah. <laughs> she was uh, she was probably the worst off, um, and uh, we didn't think she was going to make it. We were, like Jeanette said, every four hours, sometimes every two hours, going out to check on them, uh, to give them that care, and okay. she just. She blossomed. They all did. Yeah. They just they pulled right through it fairly quickly. A little yeah. fighters. Yeah. So and she was such a naughty one to two feet too. <laughs> she was the worst, and she was the worst. And so for her to make it is part of her story, and I think part of why you love her so much. And we did keep her for our breeding program. So super excited. So we've, uh, you've experienced loss. You've experienced life. You've experienced um, keeping puppies alive. Um, go home days. And healing hearts giveaways. 
long before I brought you, you were coming, and even my very first New York appearance, Carla went with me. It was Car- it was us three. Yeah. We went to New York, our very first one, and Carla's one that documents and records for me and, and continues to push me, like, come on, we got to record, you got to talk about this. <laughs> so, so she's been doing, she's been behind the scenes for quite some time, and coming up on Go Home Days, many of you have met her. Um, coming up and getting testimonials and recording and getting footage on Go Home Days as well. So already your hands in so much of what we're building here, um, here at 40 Kennels, you know, our our family-run business, so to bring you on is super exciting. I appreciate it. Do you have any questions? Ask me whatever you want. About poop. Yes. Good morning. Jeanette's talking about poop. I know. Sean, uh, today, actually, our thoughts and prayers are with our um, our military, our military also, our police family. Um, Matt is in the funeral procession today um, on motors doing uh, writing information, which is actually kind of dangerous. Um, it's high stress when you're stacked and writing information. They will be accompanying uh, a fallen officer um, to his final rest today. So uh, our thoughts and prayers with Micah Hayes, Mays, Hayes, Mays, Mays, Mays family. Um, left behind two children yeah. mm-hmm. and a wife. Um, he died on duty um, not long ago. He was putting down some spike strips spike strips in the road <clears throat> to, to try to stop an out-of-control car from killing somebody else. And this person proceeded just to run him over and, um, and fled with him in still in the car anyway it was horrific and horrifying and terrible and so every day when our police family go to work you know they are literally putting their life on the line and they never know when that call will be or what will happen so um yeah today's a tough day for matt it's emotionally draining physically draining out in the heat um all day writing in formation so our thoughts and prayers with um, all of our police family North Las Vegas Metro and Henderson PD today as they put one of their own um, to rest. So, yeah. And then on the flip side, we're heading to Vegas here shortly for another Ealing Hearts giveaway. This one's really exciting. Stay tuned. Carla will be getting footage and we'll be putting that together. But we'll do as much as we can live on Facebook as well. I love this one. This is uh, Luke, an adult. He's already been surprised. An adult type 1 diabetic. We're, uh, Miracle Flights. Thank you, Miracle Flights, again, for taking care of the flights for us flying um, him and his girlfriend to Las Vegas today to pick up Georgia, a trained diabetic alert dog. She's ready to go, ready to work. Um, So he will be picking her up um, in Vegas. So we're going to go meet them in person here shortly and get some footage and uh, share that story with you. It'll be exciting. exciting. Yeah, I know. (laughs) Go see Georgia. Jenna, where are you at with your hearts? 65. Keep going. <laughs> My top is like... Good morning, Jen. Good morning. Good morning, Jen. <laughs> Jen. Carla's so excited. <laughs> so excited you put her on the Friday so, show today. So excited. Yeah, here's a welcome, Carla. Yeah. Little baby sister, Carla. Also <laughs> raised, you know, amongst dogs this is not, and no, kittens. We're not going this uh, way. Whole, yes, we are. Oh, Let's gosh. talk about you as a right. baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Raised... Uh, you know, with dogs and cats her whole life as well. And we've always had dogs and cats. My mom's a dog and cat lover. Um, small town in Alberton. But you, we, we had moved. I had gone to college and um, my family did leave that really small town, Alberton, Montana. Um, it was a town of 500 people. Left that town and moved to Missoula, Montana, which is where I attended U of M. And got my teaching degree there, and you went to high school, middle school, middle school, middle school, and yeah. high school there. No high school down here. Oh, I was sure. all moved around. Yeah, yeah following you. Right. Yeah, yeah my <laughs> Thanks. parents. Yeah, so uh, go to college, and my parents moved to Missoula, which was better because my mom worked in Missoula during that time. Um, and then, yeah, then they came down to Las Vegas. You went to high school in Vegas, Sierra Vista. Yep, Sierra Vista. That's, I always forget that. I forget that you went to high school and. In Las Vegas, so fun, fun, and fun. Play basketball. Yeah, 
and a girl. We both did. We're both basketball players. Is Carla excited about all the upcoming travels? Oh, Jen 100%. Jen would like to know. It's one of our favorite. We do well together traveling. Yeah, we do well. She uh, uh, helps make sure. I, I tend to very easily um, be like, I don't know the right words, but we'll get footage later or I'll talk on camera later. It's very easy to, to it's like, we'll get it later. And, and Carla really keeps me on um, track, making sure we get the footage. Uh, it's really easy for me just to slip into being invisible. That, that's where I tend to feel the most comfortable. Like, we'll do it later. We can talk about later. Um, and it continues to help push me into that space. Uh, but we travel well together. I was reading. I talking about uh, Yellow's oh. sister here. Oh, yeah. I am too. Okay. Six, six days with Annie. Fergie's teal color and everything's going fantastic. She's going outside to potty. That's what Carla said too. She said no accidents. These puppies are killing it. Potty training and sleeps throughout the night. So is yep. yours. Yep. So is Kai. Like sleeping through the night. And sorry for all these that are all your puppies that are not, and you're still trying to potty train. But Fergie's litter's got it together, <laughs> man. Like that's first every thing step of the day. Morning. I did not go one day without seeing them. When we went to St. Louis, yeah, I did, did, and that was just and tough. Then, and then, and then this last Seattle. one. So yeah. But other than that, you were out there bottle feeding, and these were your babies. This was your, I think, your first real big litter. Uh, Really, uh, well, because they were in intensive care, like it yeah. was little stinkers, and they did they did really well once they got some supportive care and living her best life, too. Living her best life. Carla, Car so oh, this is a fun fact. Thank you, Heather. We'll oh, yeah, this up. Uh, my second ever litter, we had a tiny, tiny runt of 11, Laney's color litter, and um, he ended up having a heart murmur, which was my first. I mean, I had only had two litters, so. Uh, I just didn't know that much about it, and so of course I can't, I can't little tiny I'm like I like this puppy with a heart murmur, so uh, bleeding heart over here. I'm like I don't know what this really means. I don't know how serious this could be. This could be potentially fatal. Are you willing to take on this little tiny puppy, like the smallest little tiny little thing, line collar male kiwi, kiwi. was his litter name. Yep. So of course, I was like, of course, yes. <laughs> That dog is what eighty pounds. Yeah, the heart murmur. Not overweight, wild. eighty pounds. No, Let's he's see. a big boy. It, no heart murmur. He grew out of it. It was a minor heart murmur. He's how old? He turns nine this August. Nine years oh. old. Big old Thor. So now Thor is going to start raising Kai, and I think that that is always. I think. Carla grappled with that too. Is this a good time? Is this when you start to raise, you know, and she wants Thor to help you. You want them to have that influence on your next puppy. So uh, Thor at nine will be helping raise Kai. He's doing good. I mean, he's getting yes. some random little like hot spots and weird stuff. Um, but other than oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. It was like, yeah. I just got bit by something else. It's looking better though. Is it looking yeah, good? Yeah, yeah. He just got like, my red ant or something. I don't know. Farm, farm life is not his life. Oh, he is no. such a city dog. It is not. It's, it's like getting bit by everything. I'm like, dude, what are you, what are you doing? Oh. Like, uh, farm dogs not getting bit all the time. <laughs> Hannah and Holly don't. I don't know what's going on with poor Forrest. Forrest is always out on the farm. He's not. Yeah, Forrest has an bite yeah. all over him, right? I don't think he's ever had a bite. No. <laughs> going, what's going on? And some random hot spots. And so he's adjusting. <laughs> but he loves his he is in love with farm dog oh yeah <laughs> and those two will run around together and thor just pretends to be so cute <laughs> we have to get that on video we will, yeah thor's like literally just following everything farm dog does like oh this is how we do it okay like oh this is how we check on the chickens okay like this is how we treat like it's so <laughs> cute like he literally looks up to farm dog even though he's yes. way older uh and just does whatever farm dog does and he he gets very proud and he's like okay like he really is like oh i'm gonna go work with farm dog today so fantastic dog you did a great job raising him so thank you yeah he's a good dog Raised well. We did good. Yeah, we did. Yeah. A little tiny <laughs> heart murmur and all. Heart, a little heart murmur and all. <laughs> but now he's nine. That's right. All right. Anybody else? A few more questions and we got to go. Ten minutes. In ten minutes, we've got to hit the road. We've got to be uh, in Vegas to, to go meet our next Healing Hearts community. Vegas. Any more questions? I know. Ask her whatever. Here you go. Unfiltered.
Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Charlie is raising. Fish. Which one is Charlie? Is he your? your that's the um, sheep a doodle. Okay. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah. Charlie's a sheep a doodle, and then they have a Holly puppy. Mm -hmm. Lucy. Oh, beautiful. And a Hannah puppy, Linus, and then they just got an Adeline puppy, Schroeder. Yeah, he's. Uh, Heather, can I just say, um, I think we need to find a Healing Hearts close to is it Kentucky? Did you so see? Did you see, see her Heather. bar? Did you? Yeah, no. Did you? Oh, yes, my. Heather. Mm -hmm. Jen, find a Healing Hearts giveaway by Heather so we can go down in that area. <laughs> it's leaked all over. Nobody else watching. So we can go down and visit. <laughs> Kentucky people, apply for a Healing Hearts puppy. This is where we want to go, apparently. Jamie asked me stopping at Starbucks. <laughs> no, we're not going to have time, Jamie. Are you stopping at Starbucks? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, what state do you want to visit? We need people to apply from. Uh, apparently, we need a Kentucky, Kentucky giveaway. Kentucky? I've never been to Kentucky. No. Yeah, me neither. Today we're going to Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, we actually need a Starbucks. Stop at Starbucks. <laughs> I'm not going to have time. The one with all the energy wants to stop at Starbucks. <laughs> right. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. So tell us, you learn there's like a hidden menu. Yes. And tell them like, what we, like you literally went and ordered the other day. It was really kind of cute name. The Pinkity, what was that? The Pink Drink. That's on the main menu, I think. No, we'll, we'll say, say it. it. The Pink Drink. That's not what it's called. The, the yeah. pinkity drinkity. <laughs> I'm like, what the cutest name? You're embarrassed to say it. I'll say it. The pinkity drinkity. Is that right? The pinkity drinkity. Yes. <laughs> it's on the hidden menu. You can go order. Go order and let Jenna know what you think of the pinkity drinkity. Um, a, a pink drink, not too sweet. Like, I don't know what's all in it, but it's not like a coffee drink, right? No. What's in it? I don't know. It's just like Probably it. Google it. The pink drink. It's yeah. a pink drink. The pinkity drinkity. Is that not really cute and clever? <laughs> I was <laughs> you saying it. No, right? It's the what? pink drink. Why did you call it the pinkity drinkity? Did you make that up? <laughs> no. Stick and mellow. That's what Sonata texted me. The, oh, so that's what Sonata called texted drink. you, though. And then I was never the pink drink, I think. Okay. Well, Jamie said it's made with coconut milk. Yeah, it was good. Pinkity drinkity. Yeah. That was quite clever. It's the pink drink. We had a question. Yeah, it was tough to leave the corporate world. Um, but like I said, it was it was more about the family. And, and we talked a, a lot about it. It was a very... It was not... A, even as she was doing it. Uh, and I... Yeah. Had the same thing. I love teaching. And I went back. Like, people, most people don't know. I was super indecisive. Left and went back. Left and went back kind of yanked the school district around. I felt bad. I did. And then when I went back, I left in November. The school year starts in August. And that was my, I was not officially moved here. But yeah, share yours. Some of yeah, it is struggle. Strategic. Yeah, it was struggle. And it's cool that we both left at 12 years. We both kind of had that at 12 years. We kind of had that. But yeah, it was very tough. It was. And we're about um, the same age. Yeah. I was your age when I left teaching about, um, to do this full time so that was really kind of it, it just seemed to align and um, I didn't really have the position for her and I didn't have the housing for her and that ended up opening up uh, you know, unexpected as well so it was just kind of like everything happens for a reason and it was funny like 12 years 12 years same age uh, we don't need to share that <laughs> but I think that um, made it a lot better too knowing that it was just kind of all lining up and and, uh, you know, knowing my sister had me and she still does and, and being able to work from her and learn from her and, you know, something that she does that she's created this business isn't just from a fluke. Um, so seeing that too of how long you've really had this and still are growing this, I think it's a little late that I came in, uh, I'd have to say, but, um, you know, better late than never, I guess. Yeah. Every, I think everything happens for a reason. And, yeah. Uh, some of the natural shifts that took place, it all just kind of aligned for you and for me and for the business. So, Do you yeah. see how tired I am? We can't stop yawning, Mom. <laughs> Not <laughs> stopping to get you the pinkity drink. <laughs> no, I don't want the pink drink. It's still caffeine. <laughs> What's the point of it? Um, I just have to say that over and over. The pinkity drinkity. Oh, it's not that it's actually caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's a Google as we get off. Yeah. 
I think uh, Jamie knew about it. She's like, it's got coconut milk. And so other people uh, apparently know about it. Yeah, it's called the pink drink. I know, but then where her friend told her to order the pinkity drinkity. And I thought that was incredible. Starbucks, if you're listening, you really need to call it the pinkity drinkity. Because oh I'm gosh. telling you, people are going to order it just so they can say it. <laughs> that was just not Hashtag, tag Starbucks right now. It needs to be called the pinkity drinkity. Because How I do you spell that? Pinkity ITY. I think it would just be pink ITY. Drinkity ITY. I would go, I don't really uh, get Starbucks drinks. I would come I'm, and order it just to say it. I love <laughs> pinkity drink. I may have to today now. Let's all go get yes. the pink drink and we will post. <laughs> Can I order my own? Can no. I go and order my own? Only if it's pinkity drinkity. drinkity. I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll not say it. <laughs> so that's not what it's called. We're going to record you. We're all going to go up and order it today after uh, work, uh, after our second work, after our healing hearts work. I switched to a job several times a day. I'll go to 40 kennels and they'll be like, all right, I got to go. Bye. I love you. I got to go to work. I'm going to go to badass. If you don't know, we have moved everything into three different businesses. So um, things grew so well, fairly quickly, and then so largely, and, and everything kind of moved into its own space. So we literally had to separate. So there's 4E Kennels, um, S Corp. That's its own business. Um, and Carla's really working on learning how to really kind of take over that that aspect. Um, because then I still have two others. So we have Healing Hearts Nonprofit. Um, you know, and we've brought on um, a coordinator for the first time. We've got, you know, a, a Jen, right? Jen is our Healing Hearts coordinator. Um, can she get a, can she get a, you're, you've got little Pinkity, cool stuff. Drinkity. Where's the cool applause? Oh, applause. I'll do my sound effects. Hurry. Oh, Click it. man. Click it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Pardon me. Pardon me. Ah. Welcome, Jen, <laughs> to Healing Hearts, my first uh, true employee for Healing Hearts. And so she tells me what to do. All that time. is smart, Jen. I know. And yeah, oh, a Starbucks. Yeah, Star and we can name the puppy the Pinkity Drinkity. The pink collar, Pinkity Drinkity. Okay, I, oh, I see this coming. Oh, <laughs> man. I see this coming. How's your um, name on channel? Yeah. Good. And then I started mentoring readers, wrote a book. I, I teach classes, um, do seminars, <clears throat> webinars. So Badass Breeder really kind of grew Keep giving and, me and have a software <laughs> first time ever for breeders. Um, we've done a soft launch, kind of more private, and we'll be going public soon, but the software's out and running, and I'm incredibly proud of that. So Badass Breeder got moved into its own business as well. So I, I'll leave one job and go to the next, to go to the next, and back across to it all slides together every single day. Yes. So, we are going to be leaving 40 kennels and clocking out for a little bit and going to do healing hearts work for a little bit. And I'll be coming back and doing some badass breeder work for a little bit and then back to 40 kennels for. That's kind of what I do that's, all day, right? That's, that's the life up here on the farm 24 7. Yeah. And night shifts. What are you throwing? I know. <laughs> I didn't mean, this, this is dangerous. This is very dangerous. I didn't mean to cut off. No pinkity drinkity for you. <laughs> okay, She's that's throwing okay. stuff. I didn't mean to. <laughs> this is a, can, can someone help me? Give me I'm more thinking, I'm thinking, can somebody please? Oh, is that your private call? Is this, is this, so, what, is this somebody what it's please come help. to? Give me is this what it's come to? You need to be rescued already. Somebody. Somebody. <laughs> What's that just, supposed to just, be? I don't know. Help. Somebody knows. Maybe. Yeah. Somebody knows. SOS maybe? Right. SOS. Heather left too, 12 years. Yeah, what, what's the deal about 12 years? I think, you know. It's not like that. You had kind of felt like you had plateaued uh, and there was nothing else more you could give or anything else you can do that that was, that was it. There was nothing more. And we talked about this, not being able to create your own thing and put your own time and energy into something in a way that you have an impact, truly, truly have an impact. Um, and it's directly driven so by your decisions and your motivation and what you want to do. Um, and we're, we're very fortunate. We do. Uh, as much as we put in, we can get out. And so, um, and the, the impact of the power of the dog is incredibly far reaching in a way that you know, I've shared before, we're really finally realizing that people are being open to putting dogs in um, 
organizations and businesses and schools and funeral homes and drug addiction centers. That's what I really want that. That is going to, I'm going to make that happen. Um, <clears throat> and so being able to be a part of that and, and, and really fuel that is oh, great. Are we boring you? <laughs> no, I'm so tired. Don't, go do chores no. or something, man. I'm sure there's something you can do. Go sweep. Go there's poop. dog poop. Go, there's dog poop or, toys. And the up. goat poop off my patio. She's still running around and off my patio furniture. I'm the sure goat. I can find something for you to do. Okay. Yeah, 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 I'm just tired today. A goat. All right, you guys. It is 8.30. Yeah, Denisha, thank you. Pinkity, drinkity. There you go. Wait, Carla, wait, favorite wait. dog breeds? Can be red collar. Oh, yeah, or pink. Which uh, one? Oh, Golden Carla. Doodle. <laughs> Not the poodle. No, I love the poodle. It's an adjustment, though. Like, if you have They're a better great. round poodles and you're so used to golden retrievers, which was what we had growing yeah. up, it's it's an adjustment. I have the same adjustment with them. They're, they're a different dog. You have to make sure everything, they think it's their idea. Training is different. The way you manage them is different. The way, um, yeah, training and management is they're so different. smart. They're so smart. <laughs> no, they actually are. Yeah, they're super smart. Jimmy's like, I got two boys I raised. Yes. And very sensitive at the same time. Like it's, it's, a, it's a really amazing dichotomy and why so many of us love the poodle blends. I mean, the, the, there we go. There's Augie, her stalker yeah, boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the eight years plus I've known Jeanette, she's always raving about Carla. I mean, it's such a sweet sister, Carla. I know. My baby sister. It is. As long as I don't scare her away. I have to keep reminding myself, don't scare her away quite yet. Don't <laughs> scare her away yet. We're only in we're only in a couple months, right? Carla, I love your right. smile. I know. Thank you. How is sweet Nemo doing? She's doing fantastic. I can't wait to uh we cannot wait. That's gonna be a really emotional oh, sure. giveaway. Um but you know, we'll be getting, taking applications, really fine tuning what I'm looking for for her, what will be her purpose uh, after her evaluation, after she tells right. us. And then we'll re really look at applications and let people know what we're looking for. And then we'll be choosing that. So um, this will be uh, Carla, this will be Carla's first being a part of helping select because the giveaways we're doing now, some of those people were selected a year ago, you know, even before Jen came on board to help. So um, like Luke was selected prior by me um, and Grace. I've been wanting to do Grace for a long time. And so a lot of these giveaways have been in the works for quite some time. So this will be Carla's first um, rodeo at, you know, helping with final selection. So I'm excited to share that with you too. Oh, great. <laughs> it's not easy. No, that one's not oh, going to be easy. It's not easy. I'm just going to finish All right, you guys. I'm Jeanette with 4E Kennels. We are officially welcoming Carla. Do you have anything else to say? No, thank you, I everyone. Like I love this tribe. This is, a, <laughs> this is amazing, and I am thankful to be a part of it every day. Yeah. Awesome. Jenna, anything else you want to say? You just want to go get her pinkity Pinkity drinkity. drinkity. No, I do You all be giving her hearts, and she's just thinking of the pinkity <laughs> drinkity. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm thinking of a different drink. Oh, a different drink. Like a caramel latte? No. Chai well, latte. I'm thinking about a different drink, too. No, we're all getting the pinkity no, drinkity, dang it. Heather knows what I'm talking about. We're coming to get the pinkity drinkity. All right. I'm Jeanette with 40 Kennels. We're not only healing hearts and changing lives through the power of a dog. The power of a dog. Okay. Sorry, that again? wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> you One more time. Try it again. One more time. We got this. Okay. All right. I am Jeanette with 40 Kennels. We're only changing breeding from bad to bad ass, but we are healing, healing hearts, hearts and changing, changing lives by the, the power, power of a dog. dog. Woo! Give us some applause. Give us some applause. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. some applause. Bye. Bye. Right, bye, guys. Have a great weekend. Be watching on social media today. Another amazing story. Meet Luke and Kristen shortly. See you soon. Bye. bye. bye.